this wig screams affordable holiday glam and I am 100% here for it. Well, not 100%. I do have some cons, but you know we have to go through the process, y'all. I'm going to let you know everything you need to know before you click, 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 add to cart and get your sleigh on. Okay, so what's up, queens? My name is Nini, aka Queen of Mindset. Welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. I appreciate you clicking on this video. And if you're new here, I hope you will consider subscribing. So while I sip my tea, I'm about to spill the tea on this unit. So let's start with the construction. So the wig that I'm bringing you guys today, I did pick up with my own coins. And this is by Outre. This is their lace front wig, Azalea. And I picked up Azalea in the number two. So Azalea has a couple specs that we need to talk about before we go ahead and try her on. I am going to apply her with you guys and I am going to give you my final review in a few minutes at the end of this video and tell you about those cons I mentioned earlier. I want to make sure you know them and note them before you buy this wig. So the details highlight HD transparent lace in a crimp wave style. Now I don't really see a crimp, but I do see the waves. I'm feeling the waves on this unit. They come off really pretty, especially straight out of the package. It does say that it comes with natural baby hair and that it is pre-plucked up with a five inch deep lace parting. So this wig is also a high heat safe up to 400 degrees. I do put this wig to the test with heat. So make sure you keep on watching and I'll let you guys know whether she sizzles or she's good to go with applying heat to this synthetic wig. So this wig is on the longer side. The stock card says that it is approximately about 28 inches. On me, I don't feel like it's that long and I am going to show you guys what it looks like straight out of the package with a 360 view and you can judge for yourselves, but I don't feel like this is as long, especially compared to one of the more recent units that I tried um, that was super long, like down to the hips. This one, I feel like is more manageable. So as we finish up this 360 view, I did notice that this wig is a little bit humpy in the top. So you probably will want to use some heat. I'm going to do it later in the video, like I said. So let's go ahead and slide right into the application process. I'm going to be using many different products in this video and I have linked them all in the description for you. So you can pick them up on Amazon if you're interested. So I'm going to start with this lace tint spray and I actually forgot to use this in the last video, but I'm glad that I did did because now I can compare and I'm happy to report that using this spray definitely made the application process a lot easier. I'm now going in with my wax stick and just pushing back the hair laying down the flyaways. I did have some flyaways with this wig as well so the wax stick came in very great use and now I'm just pinning the hair back because I'm actually going to go ahead and glue down just the top part area with this lace bond spray in the red can. Now I used the free spray spray by got to be in the last video and I actually like this better I feel like using this red can of lace bond spray made the application a lot easier and I didn't have to go straight in with my heat to secure the lace I do want to stop and let you guys know a really important factor about this wig and that is that parting space so the parting space is on the left side i repeat the parting space is on the left side i know that can be a deal breaker for some people some people like i prefer a right side part a left side part i did not try to flip this part because it just was not going to work if i switched the sides you may can get away with kind of doing like a side middle part but i would just stick with the left part because that's how it's naturally made I am going to do some plucking to that parting space and a little bit of manipulation later in the video to make it look a little bit more realistic. And as you can see, the hairline is pretty thick as well. I do not pluck the hairline on this one because I didn't want to do too much with this wig. I got it at an affordable price and I didn't want to push it, but that is something that I want to know as well. 
So now I'm going in with another product that I showed you guys in my last video. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and I love the way that it blends my lace to my skin. It does a really good job. I have it in the shade 355. That is my shade, and I really like the way that it looks. So after doing that, I'm just laying my baby hairs, and we are getting ready to slide right into my final review. I'm so excited to tell you guys my overall rating and go over all the pros and cons of this wig but before i do that i do want to mention that a lot of the clothes that i film in are thrifted and i also sell thrifted clothes in my poshmark closet so if you guys are ever interested in that or some of my reviewed wigs they are listed on my poshmark closet and the link to that store is directly in the description box of this video and i want to thank you guys who have been supporting me in my different endeavors i really really appreciate it Right here, you're seeing me going in and taking some of those hairs that is right in the middle of where the part reaches my actual lace and my forehead area. And I'm just plucking those hairs just to open it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my angled brush and I'm just going to add that Maybelline Fit Me foundation again. And I'm going to put it right in that part to try to blend it more with my skin, open it up and make it look a little bit more natural. I feel like this really helped especially since the hairline is more on the thicker side and without further ado let's jump into this final review so if you guys are getting to the end of this video i want to thank you so much for watching i appreciate the thumbs up and all the love and i'm going to go ahead and go over my overall rating for this wig so for outre azalea i'm going to give it an overall rating of an eight and the reason why i'm going to give it an eight is for several reasons and it's even with contributing to those cons that I have to talk about. So Azalea, I think it's a really pretty look. I think it's gorgeous for the holiday season. Like it just screams Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. And it was really easy to style as well. So in addition to that, it is an affordable synthetic wig. It's not super expensive. Um, it's definitely beginner friendly as well. I do have some cons aside from the thick hairline. I also felt like Azalea did give me some shedding. Now, the shedding was not crazy. Thank God. <laughs> But she did shed and she shed consistently. Um, it did start to taper off later on throughout this wig review, but I had to make sure I let you guys know. And I also felt like she gave me just a few tangles. So if I were going to like go out, out, you know, and really do some moving and grooving, I would definitely take my hairbrush or my wig brush along with me. But I don't think that she's going to give you crazy problems. And the curls just look so gorgeous definitely a winner for this holiday season so queens thank you so much for watching this video let me know in the comments what you think about azalea i would love to hear what you have to say and to talk with you guys down there and thank you again for watching this video i love you queens so much keep your crown high and i'll talk to you again soon bye